All right, it's Kel Casey with you here for a field report from Fern Lake Trailhead, Rocky Mountain National Park, November 3rd, 2020. I'll we'll give you a little tour here so you can see the new normal after the fire passed through this area, burning the ground fuels. These hardwoods, these aspens, they don't mind disturbance. A lot of these trees evolve with fire in the landscape. You can see how the ground fields were consumed. Let's look up the cliff band a little bit. Pockets of intensity up there. And we'll come down slowly back onto the trail. And I'll walk you down the trail a little bit. That ground fire can produce a heat signature capable of melting plastic. That used to say dogs on leash or no dogs at all. That's what that means. The big red piece is the only bit left. You can hear the wind in here. The crews have already been through. Cleaning up. Hot spotting. Bucking trees. This is a wilderness area. Permits are required to hike back here once the park does open again. Fern Lake Trailhead. And so the East Troublesome Fire on the big wind event day, it's spotted over the divide. Spruce Creek and the Spruce Drainage Canyon up ahead. Sprague Pass, Spark came over during the wind event, got established on the east side of the divide. And then the wind pushed it through here. There's some good light there for you looking up. Pockets of different intensities. There's definitely some good pockets of nice green trees up there that will provide seed for the areas that burn. And then here's our drainage here. As soon as next spring comes, lots of grasses. We'll fill in this area, the trees that have died, they'll eventually fall over and decompose and become part of the soil for the next generation. But you can see how many hardwoods and aspens are going to be leafing and green next year. But it will look different. 